lost time I advertised live. And to be honest, the problem with advertisements is that no matter how hard you try, by and large, there's always going to be a positive picture painted. So today I want us to really begin to evaluate our lives. No pressure. As a human race, we love pleasure. Whether that's pleasure that's been instantly gained or by our own hard work, we love it. I don't want to talk about the pleasure instantly gained, but that which comes from pain, hardships, and difficulties. So on this train journey of our lives, I want us to stop at the station and really appreciate the value behind delayed gratification. You see, in this day and age, social media is beginning to change our outlooks in life without us even knowing, because it brings instant satisfaction. If we're not careful, we'll be lured into this trap where instead of enjoying life's experiences or sowing our seeds for harvest, we take a snap. Instead of approaching each day with a constructive plan to get to where I need to be, I'm posting on my sofa, post on Instagram. I'm not trying to say that social media is bad. I'm saying when it becomes a priority, rather than an addition, it begins to subtract from our lives. So more than anything, I want us to realize that now is the time. You see, now is the time for my future lawyers to start doing justice to their extra reading. For my future doctors to start actively fulfilling their goals because sooner or later, they'll be prescribing products that bring healing. For my future musicians and poets to start revealing their talents and taking steps of faith to cause transformation. But you see, this is not possible without delayed gratification. Generally, nothing free is worth it. The greater the sacrifice, the greater the vision inside. But the only free yet so valuable thing is time. And this is a commodity which will never lose its value. You choose. But I'm telling you that the third line of Pascal's triangle is only when we encounter our goals one to one that we'll be the ones laughing later. Let time be your money and spend it like an economist. Cost benefit analysis. Evaluating whether what you're doing now is beneficial in the long run. But this all starts with our fundamental understanding of delayed gratification. So we stopped at the station and I'm banging on about delayed gratification. But what does it all mean? It's me realizing that there's more to life than my present. And if I'm not careful, when I unravel this gift of the future, I won't be pleased. It's reaching the point of actualization that the goals I need to reach begin with me starting to make a change to the way I live my life, to stop trying to get the easy way out and beginning to sacrifice. Lastly, is understanding that it's not going to be a straightforward route to my destiny, that there will be challenges and obstacles ahead of me. But as always for me, relying upon the grace of God to help me carry on and get through the difficult storms ahead of me, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So for you, it might be trying to get that grade, that uni offer, that promotion, or simply the satisfaction in the future that you've done your bit. Extract this message, apply it to yourself, and if the shoe fits, take that step of faith, make a fit and change, and most importantly, get back on that train. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform.